I know Dave and I hope defensive staff was disappointed on that last drive, uh, just a lack of mental focus there. We had five sacks uh, tonight. I thought we rushed the, the passer well. Special teams, we had a touchdown. We're very pleased with the punt return unit. Actually had two touchdowns, but one was called back for a penalty. Uh, the kickoff team was uh, – the kickoffs was great tonight by Gamble. Uh, we need to still find a field goal kicker. We don't have a guy right now that, that's going to make the kicks that we want, so we're going to open it up. We're going to compete. Uh, we played 19 true freshmen, which we're very proud of. The guys played very well tonight. Uh, I give credit to Chattanooga. I thought they had a great game plan. They came out, three-step drop, moved the ball, ran the ball on us. Uh, those, those guys competed very hard, and uh, they have a good football team. But um, on to Mississippi State. No, we're going to put this one away, watch the film tomorrow, and get ready to play a better football game next Saturday night on the road in Starkville. Any questions? Coach, is the plan tonight coming in to take more shots down the field, or is that just sort of taking what they gave you? Kind of take us what they give us. We always want to take shots, but uh, they gave it to us tonight, and we did it. How concerned are you about the special team? Very concerned. I mean, there's a, there's a – we can't go for it all the time, and uh, we need to get points, and uh, we need to get it fixed fast, and hopefully we can. You said you'd open it up with some of the guys that do the off season. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe Arlen can come back next week and kick a field goal. <laughs> <laughs> you said the challenge is going to have to be on the field. Is it just a, a, a mental thing? Or I, I do believe it's a mindset, and, um, and it, it's got to come from me, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. Very accurate, very accurate. Did a tremendous job early. Uh, the only thing we were disappointed in the red zone, we had a nice little, little three plays that we could have went score, and we weren't on the money then. Besides that, I thought he was very good. Coach, your defensive backs made two incredible interceptions, almost three, basically. Yeah. Is that, that great? That yeah. Right yeah, really, really proud of those guys. We played tight man coverage. Uh, the guys go after the ball. Corey's done a tremendous job with them. We want to get the ball. We have preached all camp about turnovers and winning the turnover margin. Uh, tonight we were plus two, so we're plus three for the season. Uh, we looked and we studied some other teams like Washington that were plus 18 and guys that were plus 12 that were in the college football playoffs. And uh, to where this team wants to get, we need to be better in our turnover ratio, and right now we're off to a good start. Got after her butt. I mean, I mean it's just you know, it's just an eye open. Listen, we've been telling them all week it's going to be a battle. They're going to come in there. They're going to give us their best shot. But you know, until you go out there and play, they may 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 or may not believe it. But they believed it after the first two drives. I promise you that. And they got going. I was very disappointed in our pass rush to start, and then after that, we got heated up. Yeah. yeah, we need depth there. We need depth. We like to go four wise. We can't go right now because we don't have enough depth. <laughs> but Jacoby Stevens, Stephon Sullivan, those guys played very well tonight. Coach, you've already kicked back in on the second down and kicked in on the punt. You were finishing them once again. But is that about a balance you're looking for, is keep 82 pass and keep on the ground? Yes, we'd like to be balanced. We're going to take what they give us. But I thought tonight was a great indicator of being 50-50 and being very balanced. We have to run the football. Obviously, we know that. But well, there's going to be some times where they put too many people in the box where we can't run the football. Danny was tremendous on the shots tonight. I thought Matt did a great job of calling the game tonight. Any other penalties you attribute to you playing a lot of young guys? Well, you know, there are some young guys that are getting penalties. But listen, we tell them uh, when you go out there, it doesn't matter. First year, second year, third year, you got to play like a tiger. And that's totally unacceptable. They, they'll learn a lesson. They'll get better at it. Well, number one, I think our offensive line is doing a great job of making it look and sound like run. The guys are biting up. Danny's hiding the ball very well. And he's hitting it on the money. I think our receivers, I think the thing that's lost there, our receivers are running a lot better routes this year. They worked on their feet all, all summer with Mickey. They're very precise in their routes and they're catching the ball. I think our receivers are the most improved unit on our football team right now. And it's because of their coaching. 
But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Have you got a lot of fish there always? You know, a lot more pressure to come out of the Pacific Crest of all that. One fish that I found. Really important. Uh, Nick Brosette, I feel, is a really good back. He's a good zone runner. He hits the hole well. Uh, he's got a great running back coach on the Tommy Robinson. I like that the guys get equal reps uh, between Darius and Darrell and now get Nick in the fold and also Clyde in the fold. And uh, hopefully we can bring Lenore alone. You saw him get a rep or two at the end. He has not been healthy, but he's healthy now. We're going to need to use the rotation of backs. Coach, uh, you, you don't need a kicker right now, but I think you're trying to call the player now. Can you talk about some of your thoughts with uh, fantastic in terms on what they feel about the rotation? Yeah, fantastic night. And, you know, give the credit to uh, – our coaching staff for, for um, drawing up the return. I mean, there were some big holes there. But he has great vision. And, you know, he's a senior. The guy's played a lot of football. He did, he did punt return in, in high school. He's just starting to learn how to do it. He's getting excited about it. And so I think it was a, a effort on all 11, but give him a lot of credit, too. How do you feel about the team so far this year? Uh, you know, I feel like last week we played a clean game. Played about as well as we could play besides the penalties. Uh, this Tonight I thought we were very spotty, inconsistent. But I'm glad that it happened this week and not next week. So uh, we can – we, you know, it's always better when you don't play well and you win. They're going to listen to you and make some improvement. So next week's, what, next week's going to be a tough week. This will be a tough week in practice. But we're going to get down – we're going to get some things right and we're going to be ready to play. Ben, it was not shocking that the defense didn't play against us so much in that game? Sure. Sure it was, and yeah, yeah, it was, no doubt. And uh, they'll get it fixed. Knowing the kind of pressure that's been faced going down the field, how comfortable is Andy Rizzoli going to be? Is it in the pocket, and once he got out of the pocket, is it in the pocket? Man, he seems like a different player to me this year. He does. He did a lot of work this summer. Uh, he's, he's confident in the pocket. He can do some things. See him scramble in the long run. Uh, again, uh, there's going to be some time. Now, Mississippi State has a great defensive coordinator. They're going to give him some pressure, and uh, we have to protect, and he's going to have to make some plays with his feet, and I think he can do it. Coach, you said, uh, I think, when Miles turned to Tiger Stadium for the first time, he feels like it's uh, really easy to get him out there, play a quarter or so. It means a lot. He's a, he's a play away. If Danny gets hurt, he's got to go in there. It means a lot. Anytime we can get him reps, we're going to get it. I thought he did very well tonight. The decision to go for it on fourth down, was that because of a lack of confidence in your kicker? And Absolutely. Absolutely. You let uh, Coach Miranda pitch to his starting line. How happy were you with Reed and being that close and how he's playing for you? Now, he's playing well. Got another pick. He's doing a very good job. Uh, Greedy's a tall corner with speed, which is hard to find. Uh, again, I think Greedy's an outstanding young player for us right now. Ed, you, you have uh, experience kind of across the spot. Mm -hmm. So what, do you, what, do you, what is it like there, and how do you get your team ready for Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we're going to practice noise. We're going to put the speakers right behind them. Uh, we might get uh, a couple of guys to ring some cowbells or something like that. But a lot of, got a lot of respect for Mississippi State. They, they're a hard-nosed football team. It's a tough crowd down there. And uh, you got to play for 60 minutes. The last two years we played Mississippi State, it's come down to the last play. We've been ahead. But those guys have come from behind. Uh, Dan Maul's an excellent coach. This is going to be a battle. Yeah. 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 How important was it to, to give them this team for so many and a half yeah. effort in this game? Yeah. Well, it's important for the team. And, and, and not have nothing to do with me. I promise you that. But uh, it was a great crowd. Uh, I think our guys were really excited. It's the first time a lot of them got to run into Tiger Stadium. Uh, but again, they know we need to play better. Yeah, the only way to do it is experience. It's got experience. You got to go through it, and you know you got to tell them, "Hey, this is going to be a little bit different." The only guys going to tell them, uh, there will be no joking around on the sideline. This is going to be a sixty-minute game. Every play seemed like an SEC game. Every play is tight.